let's turn this into this stick around to see how i achieved these glossy curls Welcome back to the channel you guys if you're new welcome to my channel my name is rejoice and demande and if you are a returning service app welcome back to the family you guys so we are back with another hair video and today's video i am transforming my afro into curls so let us get straight into business the first thing i am doing is i'm hydrating my hair as always with water if you've been around here for a long time you know at this point that hydration is key and i don't need to say it a lot of times because at this point it's just the theme of every hair video so i am going to hydrate my hair and also detangle it i'm detangling my hair with this aunt jackie not on my watch hair detangler and this stuff works magic you guys because it actually detangles my hair so well i didn't think i'd ever need a product so good to detangle my hair like this one it actually really works to detangle your hair so once I'm done applying the detangler, I'm going to go in with a comb of various sizes and I'm going to use it to just detangle my hair and to take out all the knots that I have in my hair. As you guys can see, I have so many knots and I need to work on my hair without any knots. Once we're done with all of that, I have a semi-perfect afro and I'm going to be doing an afro tutorial very soon, you guys. But nonetheless, I'm going in with the Ice Curls Glossy Curling Gel by Aunt Jackie's and I'm going to be using this in the entire video for my hair just so I can show you guys how good this product works. I will be working in sections as it is easier to work on my hair this way and for each and every single section that I will be working on I am going to detangle my hair and also hydrate it with water because it does get dry as you go by the process of applying the gel and working on each and every single section it might take a while so the hair does get a little bit dry and we do not want our hair breaking or causing any damage so hydration is what I'm going for. I then I'm going to take a little bit of gel and I will apply it onto the section and I'm going to apply it with my hands just so all my hair can get the gel. Then I'm going in with a brush. I don't know what this brush is called but I got this brush gifted from a brand and I'm going to just comb through that section of my hair and basically also detangle it and then I will be going in with my fingers. I will be using the shingling method to kind of twist and curl my hair one by one in that particular section. You guys might notice that on this first section, I kind of struggled with shingling and curling the hair. And I must say, I got the rhythm from the second section that I had parted from the rest of the hair because it kind of takes a while for me to kind of get in rhythm with curling and twisting the hair but from the second section you guys will see that the curls started coming out just right So going forward, I'm just going to be using the very same method I did for the first section, which is a detangle and then apply water on the section and then apply the gel. Then go into the shingling method to define my curls and to form the curls with my hair. And basically that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my hair.
I have noticed when doing my hair is that if you want your curls to last long, you have to do the shingling method because this allows your hair to be curled from the roots to the ends. And if you do this, your curls have a more advantage of lasting longer and they won't easily get um, destroyed by anything. So if they're curled from the roots all the way till the ends, it makes your hair last longer with the curls. While it's doing my hair, I'm going to just give a basic review and comparison between the ice curls glossy curling gel and the don't shrink elongating flexseed gel. Um, I must say that one thing about the don't shrink is that typically it says what it does and for most people it might not really show any difference but for me comparing it with this one I must say I did see the difference between how that gel the don't shrink worked for my hair because when I applied the ice curls and two hours after filming this video, my hair kind of shrunk and the way it shrunk, I was like, it looks like I've got short hair when my hair is like massive. So that difference as well kind of stood out for me, but it's all on personal preference. If you don't mind your hair shrinking that much and you've got like a dryer and you will diffuse your hair and kind of volumize it with a the hairdryer, then sure. But both gels do what they say they do. They curl your hair to the utmost best. Well, let me say they curl my hair because I know it might not work and they both might not work on other people's hair. And I totally understand that because all our hair is different. But I must say, ice curls, I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. And then don't shrink, I'm definitely giving it a 10 out of 10. It does not make my hair flake whatsoever. The ice curls kind of does make my hair flake a little bit but once the curls have stayed after four to five days that is what i can say but that is what i've experienced with both these products the don't shrink works well for my hair the ice curls works well as well but i would prefer the don't shrink over ice curls <music> look you guys i must say these curls came out bomb and i know that i said that i prefer the don't drink over the ice curls but i must say look at these curls guys look at this glossy curls and that's what the bottle says glossy curling gel and honestly like these curls came out superb i don't want to lie i love them so much i love my hair best when it has curls and I must say, I will be using this product in the future again because I love how my curls just popped and they were shiny, they were glossy, they were juicy, Mwah! utmost perfection. But with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video.